Okay, we'll do a short video uh, for arbor, arbor removal and bearing replacement on Delta Unisaws. You can see here, obviously, I've got the top removed. And then uh, to remove this arbor bracket, you've got a bolt that you need to loosen so that it can move on the shaft. It is a keyed shaft, but there's no other set screws or anything. This bolt just clamps this down, and then the keyed, uh, keyed shaft uh, makes this move up and down properly. Uh, the one thing you need to do is you need to make sure to elevate the, uh, the elevation hand wheel all the way up so that this moves like this, so that then you can pound it off with a rubber mallet. Okay. Um, otherwise this portion of it will be caught in that hole there and you won't be able to pound. So it needs to be elevated all the way and then you're able to pound it off the shaft right in this area here with a rubber mallet. Certainly don't use any metal type of hammering tool. Uh, and with some WD-40 um, and a rubber mallet that usually takes care of getting that off without any problem. I've done several that way. So then I like to take it over to the bench and start the process of removing the arbor itself. The arbor um, pulleys are captured in this area here between here. Okay. So your first task is always to loosen the set screws in the pulley. Uh, this one had two. Okay, so make sure those are loose and make sure to check that there's not two stacked up in a hole. I've had that happen before and ruined a shaft on a uh, Powermatic 16 inch planer. It's quite the process. Uh, so don't be foolish like I was. Look in the hole with a flashlight to make sure there's not a second set screw buried in the hole. Okay, um, then once the set screws are removed, uh, then you go to the end of the um, assembly and you have a nut and First thing is this threaded insert, and there's little uh, insert, little slotted areas here where you can use a slotted screwdriver to start to get that to move and loosen, and hopefully that just works its way off. And then with that off, then you've got the nut um, to get some resistance against uh, that nut as you're loosening. Uh, hopefully you can get a wrench, a thin wrench, onto the flats uh, of this spot here on the back of the arbor. This is threaded normally. Remember this part though is reverse threaded. Okay. So once you get um, the nut off of this end and your set screws removed here, then you can take some uh, some light blows with uh, some type of mallet or a wooden block and then a hammer to get this shaft to start to move uh, through the holes. And as that goes through, it, it usually starts to work its way. You might need a, a little bit of a uh, penetrating oil or something, but it usually starts to move, move its way through without any problem. Um, and then eventually you'll have uh, the, the pulley loose and the bearing on the one end. Um, sometimes the bearing, will, the, the bearing on the arbor end will get stuck and then obviously you've got to use bearing pullers to take care of that. Um, and then obviously replace the bearings, put everything on in reverse order. But so far this is, uh, these two are coming apart pretty well. I've got one more here to get up to the same um, part of the, um, uh, the process and then we'll just continue to batch them along um, so that way I get better at it and more efficient doing multiples at the same time. hope this helps.